Poseidon water could be headed back to the drawing board to better compensate for the marine life expected to be killed by its proposed desalination plant in Huntington Beach. After hearings this week for one of two remaining major permits needed for the project, several members of the Regional Water Quality Control Board indicated they were dissatisfied with the proposed mitigation for the larva and other small marine life that would die as a result of the plant's ocean intake pipes. I don't think this mitigation comes close to addressing the impacts this project will have, said Regional Board Director Daniel Selmy on Friday evening, July 31, near the end of two 10-hour days of online hearings and public testimony for the proposed permit. While advocates applauded the controversial project for creating a drought-proof source of drinking water for Orange County, Foes told the regional board that the water isn't needed, is too expensive, will unnecessarily harm marine life and disproportionately burden low-income households. But the primary concern of regional board members focused on the proposed mitigation at Bolsa Chica Wetlands as well as the lack of details in Poseidon's mitigation plan. The board will meet August 7 to discuss how to address those issues. Among the possibilities discussed Friday was a requirement that Poseidon to build an artificial reef to promote sea life, in addition to the work proposed for the Bolsa Chica wetlands. The new issues represent the latest bureaucratic hiccup for the $1 billion project, which has been in the works since 1998. And it's the third time since 2006 that Poseidon has been before the regional board for a permit, thanks to previous permits expiring and new regulations being put on the books. Poseidon Vice President Scott Maloney, who's overseeing the project, took heart that the conditions linked to the permit on Friday have, so far, remained unchanged from conditions recommended by the regional board staff. And while many opponents would like to see the permit rejected completely, board concerns appeared limited to mitigation requirements. After two days of testimony, the facts supporting the proposed permit and staff recommendation to approve the renewed permit are unchanged, he said after the meeting. We are pleased that so many local teachers, Bolsa Chica conservationists, water district leaders, elected officials and residents voiced their support for the project. We look forward to the board deliberations on Friday, August 7. A total of 76 speakers supported the project, including trade union representatives eager for jobs constructing the $1 billion plant and San Diego County backers of Poseidon's existing desalination operation in Carlsbad. Several county business groups also said they backed the plant.